everyone, it's Okra After AG here and today I'm going to be showing you how to transform your doll room from not so fall to make it look like fall just threw up in your doll's bedroom. So I'm going to be showing you how to make four super cute and super easy DIYs to make your doll's room look, look fallish. So let's get on with the video. Okay, so the first thing we're going to make is this really cute flannel pillow. So starting with an old pillow, like from your doll room or something, you're going to take some flannel. I'm just using an old flannel shirt, and I'm going to cut a square around the pillow just so there's quite a bit of seam allowance around there. Next, with my hot glue gun, I'm going to take it and glue it onto the, one of the corners, kind of set up like this, and glue it right onto the pillow, and I'm going to do this on the other side as well. I'm a mess and so are you. We've built walls nobody can get To do the other sides, I'm just going to kind of tuck in the ends and fold them up kind of like you're wrapping a present and then put dots of hot glue and glue it all together. Bring it bro. Now for the DIY fabric banner. So for this you're going to need some little triangles of fabric. I'm just using some in some really pretty dual tone fall colors. And I cut them with my pinking shears so they wouldn't fray. And then I'm going to take this black cord and hot glue the triangles on there. It is seriously that easy and it looks super cute. Okay, so the next one is this really cute DIY burlap photo holder. So you're going to need a picture frame. I'm using one, this really pretty gold color. Start by removing the back in any of the pieces. And then take a piece of burlap and um, cut it to fit over the size of your glass. And then I'm going to take some hot glue and glue on the edges to the actual glass. And this doesn't have to be perfect because you're still going to put it back into the picture frame. Just kind of do it so it stays pretty secure. Once you have the finished piece of glass with burlap on it, you can go ahead and put it back into your frame and then put the backing on. So I decided to add some cute pictures to mine so I just cut some out of magazines and also added this little F for Finley and glued that onto my little um, burlap board. Okay, so now we are making this really cute sweater pillow and this I see in so many different stores and it's so cute. So you're going to need an old pillow and a sweater sleeve. So start by putting your sweater sleeve over top your pillow and um, I'm going to just be using fabric glue but you could also use hot glue to glue this together. I'm just going to glue the end of the sweater sleeve together at the bottom of my pillow. Now I am taking my scissors, obviously, and cutting off the excess, and then I'm going to fold in the sweater just so it kind of stays clean, and then glue that together. And there you go, you have a super cute sweater pillow. I actually ended up adding a button to the middle of mine, but it looks super cute. Now for the transformation. So this is the room before. Pretty simple, it's still super cute, but does not look very fallish. So I started by removing this piece of artwork on the wall and poked a pin into the wall and hung up my little burlap photo wall. I then switched out my pillows for the super cute sweater pillow and the flannel pillow. And then I hung up my um, fabric garland type thing underneath the burlap photo wall on top of the bed and then I added Sage's picnic blanket which I think looks super cute and really boho and matches perfectly with the room. I then flipped over my cushion on the chair and added a navy blue, blue pillow and there we go, there's the room. So thank you guys so much for watching this video. If you liked it, don't forget to give it a great big thumbs up and also let me know which DIY was your favorite and I'll see you in my next video. Bye!